what up y'all welcome to the video as y'all coming in y'all smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed now i'm just chilling in the whip feeling the breeze from outside or whatever i'll be coming out here some kind of time so i'm just scrolling uh i'm scrolling down twitter or whatever right and um i see a, a tweet from terence crawford and the tweet goes like this you either with me or against me Ain't no in between on this one, right? So, first of all, my name is Mr. No Sources. I have no sources whatsoever, no inside information on anything that's going down between Earl Spencer and Terrence Crawford, if anything is going down. <laughs> all right, now with that being said, everything else, my speculation, my opinion, and everything like that. So, you know, this is assumptions. So, with Buzz saying that, this is how I took it. I ain't never really agree with the duck on, on nothing. You know, I, I don't really agree with nothing Bud be saying for real. But on this one, I have to say, this how it should be. You know what I'm saying? Um, Terrence Crawford, if he fight Earl Spence, it's about to be in a fight of his life. And one thing I don't like from these dudes, man, this go for reporters. Shit, even... even even YouTubers, I mean, it depends. Fighters, reporters, YouTubers, like, if you go ask them, who do you have between Earl Smith and Terrence Crawford? You have certain guys who like to play the middle. They like to play the middle. Ain't no middle, bro. So you trying to pick the middle and let me know how, it's like, what you scared of? It's like you, you being fake, like you trying to play both sides or something. You, it's like you trying to play both sides, bro. Ain't nobody got time for no fake love, bro, or, or no, none of that. You know, oh, man, I'm just, I just, I just love boxing. You know, I'm a fan of boxing. I'm not a fan of fighters, even though I watch fighters, but I, I'm a fan of boxing. That's what these dudes say, man. <laughs> You ask, you ask who they pick. I'm a fan of boxing. <laughs> the fuck? So, you know, Bud is in the biggest fight of his his career, bro. Most dangerous fight. Earl Spence, bro. This man just broke Uga's whole face in his ribs. And, and, and. You running around here talking about, I like Earl Spence too. When you know you got a personal relationship with Bud, Bud ain't going for that, man. He ain't going for that, bro. You, he wants you to pick him, and that's it. And I dig it, because guess what? I'm I'm against him. <laughs> I'm a, that's why I retweeted it, too. I said, I'm against. I got Earl by destruction, man. Fuck you talking about that. Listen. He don't want you playing the middle, man, playing both sides. And I'm and I willing to bet Earl Spence feels the same, similar way. Because I didn't hear him say something about fake love and everything like that, like these dudes be doing, man. Hey, listen, bro. You got to make a pick, bro. Why do we always have to pick between two black fighters? We never have to pick between Canelo and da -da -da. Shut up. Make a pick. And don't go back. Because, nigga, this this smoke. This ain't no, I love uh, Tank. But this ain't no Tank versus no Ryan Garcia shit, nigga. This, this shit different. Nigga, this, 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 this is basically number one, number two, pound for pound. That's why I didn't get into that face of boxing shit in the first place. Because these niggas talking about face of boxing. What, nigga? It's face is a boxing. What are you talking about, nigga? This ain't Floyd Mayweather time when it was cool when Floyd was fighting to say face of boxing because all niggas gave a fuck about was Floyd. That's the only pay per views dudes bought everything. Ain't nobody really care too much about other guys, but we in a different type of time. Like, stop living in the past, bro. Every time Floyd starts some shit, these niggas follow every fucking thing, nigga. This is different. We have a lot of fighters who niggas rock with. I'm a hardcore. What I look like talking about, nigga, goddamn face of boxing. Nigga, I watch all these 
niggas with this time. I got my favorites, but ain't no face, nigga. Earl was just doing more numbers than him the whole time. Now he just got one pay-per-view past him. That blue, that was his moment. Everybody need that one moment to go over the top. So ain't no face of boss. His face is. Now, back to this smoke, nigga. Make a fucking pick. These reporters like to be slick. You ask them niggas who they pick. Oh, I can't pick in no one. I'm not picking anyone. I'm just a reporter. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not picking anyone. I'm going to enter. So I want to be able to interview Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford whenever I want to. Looking at it, nigga. Shut up and, and pick who you picking. Speak your mind, soft ass nigga. That's some soft ass shit. And stop being fake all your fucking life, nigga. Pick who you want to pick and who you like the most. That's why RJ Roy always come out here. He get his last little statement. He spoke on the fight. What'd he say? Uh, Earl Spence and, and, uh, and Al Hamer are dicking themselves a hoe. And did it, did it. Shut up, nigga. If you picking bud, just say that shit. I love Earl Spence, but. Ain't hey, nobody trying to say that shit. Nigga, we know you with Bud. Just pick him. Fuck. Soft ass shit these dudes be doing, man. Wishy washy, two faced, motherfucking knife in the back ass, nigga, man. Yeah, you know, it is what it is, bro. But I feel Bud on that shit, nigga. Same thing with Earl Spence, nigga. Y'all let pick who the fuck you gonna pick, nigga. It's okay. Especially with us fans, nigga. That's what we do. We talk shit. But but he more so talking I think he talking about nigga like personal, you know what I'm saying? Like if you a fighter, you know what I'm saying? He ain't, he ain't. yeah, and when and when I think about it, he already been like that. That's why when certain niggas walked up to him, try to interview him, he be like, nigga, get your bitch ass out of my face. I'm not doing an interview with you, doing your questions cause you fuck with Earl Spence. He was already on that type of shit for real, for real. It's just more like I right, the moment is here, nigga. I'm finna get in the ring with this nigga. So don't you bitch ass niggas be coming out here trying to goddamn my eyeballs on the line. So don't be coming over here trying to play two face because I know everybody face who make videos. So yeah, I only squash shit with blue blue bud and not nobody else. And all you rest of these niggas, y'all bitches. So that's what bud on, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was like shit. Yo. Oh man, this shit gonna about to get real. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like the fight being made. My personal opinion, I think the shit already done. They just waiting on the announcement because the last thing we heard from Earl Spence was an Instagram post, fight news coming soon. Good shit. Shout it out, Tank. Said fight news coming soon. Man, both of these niggas know that what the fans want and what got to be done. You know what I'm saying? You can say Ryan versus Tank was the biggest fight. I disagree, nigga. This the biggest fight because still, I don't give a fuck how long but a duck. He's still a duck, and he, he going to be duck. And even when the fight happens, he's still going to be a duck. But at the end of the day, this is the biggest fight because it's number one, number two, pound, pound, and I bet you it blow all expectations out the water. They go to Vegas, they're going to sell that motherfucker out. That bitch going to be top five, goddamn, um, uh, attendance, just like Tank shit was. It's going to break records. It's going to do hell of it. Like, this is a good-ass fight, so niggas want to nigga, Niggas going to be like, fuck all that Tank and Ryan, nigga. This that real shit, nigga. Even though Bud the Duck, I don't see that nigga quitting either, by the way. So that's why I think he gonna get beat so bad. He, he Earl gotta take it from. You know, I don't see him just quitting because he got hit with a hard ass body shot. You think Earl ain't finna motherfucking K that nigga chest in? He must be out your mind. He finna fuck that boy up. So the thing is, nigga, he, he gonna get back up though. I believe. I think he gonna get back up and he gonna punch it out. And that's what gonna make for a better fight. You know, the motherfucker gonna do numbers. You know, but. Uh, Ryan, that nigga ain't had no fucking skills. There was he wasn't on tank level, so it looked it the way it looked. It. That shit was like more like domination type of shit. He had a little couple flurries, and if you slow the flurries down, you will see he wasn't even landing the shit in the flurry. The tank was still bobbing and weaving, and blocking his shit. So with this, this is gonna be leather, nigga. I'm throwing around this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, that, that what Bud say, man. He say, you two-faced ass nigga, the fuck out of his face on this one, nigga, for this to fight his life. 
You either with him or against him, period. Nigga, and that's how it coming. And yeah, that's how I'm coming too. So don't you whole ass niggas come out here, you know, I'm 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 smashing when this fight get mad, I'm smashing. Smashing the gas and Earl gonna crush Bud. He gonna smash the gas on him, and I'm finna smash the gas on all these niggas who was talking all this shit for all this. <laughs> so don't think shit over, nigga. It ain't get started yet, nigga. Niggas got duck tails and duck sauce and thought that shit was gonna be it. Nah, nigga, it's up. Just let it get announced. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, subscribe already. I'm out, deuces.